Klaus commented on one of my previous videos, suggesting I do a tutorial based on a prototype that he made, and he linked me to his Instagram. And I thought, wow, this is such a cool prototype. Why don't you just send it to me, and I'll break down how you did it. So he sent me the file, and in this video, I'm gonna go through it and figure out how we put together this really cool, seamless, liquid-like paging indicator. So thanks a lot to Klaus for sharing his file with all of us. You should follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna put his Instagram link in the description of this video. If you have a cool prototype that you made, send it to hello at flunto.com, mention Nathan or mention that you want it to be featured in one of our videos. And if, it's, uh, if it looks cool, if it's something we haven't shown before, I'll break it down in one of these videos. So here's his prototype. I'm viewing it in the preview window inside of Flinto. And it's just a paginated view where you can scroll through these different pages. But the cool thing is the dot indicator at the bottom. So a lot of these types of views have little dot indicators, but in this one, the dot morphs into almost a liquid-like effect. And it's a really smooth, really seamless effect. And I was really impressed when I saw this. In fact, I wondered for a while how he even did it. So I was glad that he sent me the file so I could take a look. So here's the file. We've got a group called book, a scroll group called pages. And if I select that, we can see all the pages here. And so this group is a scroll group. You can see overflow clip, scroll horizontal, and the paging option is enabled. And the page size is 375, which is the size of the screen. So you can see here the screen size is 375. So you can see these pages take up the full width of the screen. And that's why when you scroll through, they snap into place on each one because he's got that page size. So that's pretty straightforward. If you ignore the indicator dots, it's just a scroll group with the paging option enabled. So we've got these dots here, just one set of dots, and one of them is active. All right, so let's open up this behavior and see what's going on inside. I'll click behavior to get into the behavior designer. And you can see there's a lot of different states here to make this work. So let's go through them. So there's a link on the scroll group and it looks like it goes from zero to about half of the width of the screen. And if you look here, the range for this scroll gesture, it's set to horizontal and the range goes from zero to 187.5. And that targets this screen called 1.5. And that screen has the other half of the range going to uh, state number two. And it continues on that way. So each state has a scroll gesture that takes up half of the screen and takes you to the next state. All right, so let's take a closer look at the animation now. From the initial state to 1.5, let me zoom in on this. It goes from a dot and it looks like he just reshapes that dot into a longer shape and changes the opacity to 50%. And then let's go to state number two. Okay, I got a little confused there about how it's working, but now I see that there's the active dot and then four other dots. So there's actually one dot that's hidden underneath the active dot right here. So when this happens, that dot is still hidden underneath. The active dot has flattened out in the next state it's now on top of the second dot, and the first dot has now faded in. So this is the first time we're actually seeing that dot. In 2.5, this is gonna flatten out again, and the dot behind here, I'm assuming, is gonna disappear. Yeah, so there's a hidden dot here now. This one is halfway, and the one that it's going to also disappeared. So in the third state, the active dot now takes the place of the third one, the second one fades in, three and a half. We repeat the same thing. We've got a dot hidden here and a dot hidden there, now the active dot has taken over the place of the fourth one and the third one has faded in. So relatively simple when we break it down. I think that's a very elegant solution to making a very fluid, liquid-like animation. That's one of the coolest paging indicators that I've ever seen done inside of Flinto for Mac. And one really nice thing about this is the fact that he's done it with a scroll group instead of swipe gestures allows you to swipe through multiple and see that effect seamlessly animate between all the states.